The Dilbert Principle, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, www.wikipedia.org. The Dilbert Principle refers to a 1990s satirical theory stating that companies should promote their worst employees to managerial positions so as to prevent them from directly affecting the consumer's experience. The term was coined by Scott Adams, an MBA graduate from Berkeley and creator of the Dilbert comic strip. Adams explained the principle in a 1996 Wall Street Journal article and then expanded his study of the Dilbert Principle in a satirical 1996 book of the same name, which is required or recommended reading at some managerial and business programs. The book has sold more than a million copies and was on the New York Times bestseller list for 43 weeks. Although academics may reject the principle's veracity, noting that it is at odds with traditional human resource management techniques, it originated as a form of satire that addressed a much discussed issue in the business world. The theory has since garnered some support from business and management. For example, Guy Kawasaki of Apple Computer said, There are two types of companies, those that recognize they are just like Dilbert, and those that are also like Dilbert but don't know it yet. The Dilbert Principle is a variation of the Peter Principle. The Peter Principle addresses the practice of hierarchical organizations, such as companies and corporations, that use promotion as a way to reward employees that excel at their current position. It goes on to state that, due to this practice, a competent employee will eventually be promoted to, and remain at, a position where he or she is incompetent. For a list of related articles and external links, please see the online version of this article at wikipedia.org slash wiki slash the Dilbert Principle. The article was narrated by Colin Gregory Palmer. The text and audio file are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License and can be found at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.